This next segment was produced by juniors Kiara Bailey and Sidney Burkhart. Logan Brown was a 15-year-old sophomore who attended Wright's High School. Logan was your typical active 15-year-old. He liked spending time with his friends, enjoyed playing football, and spending time with his family. On March 14, 2015, Logan was tragically killed on the expressway near the University of Southern Indiana. In an effort to help raise community awareness on the dangers of drinking and driving, the Logan's Promise organization was created. Hi, my name is Sydney Burkhart, and I'm here with the founder of Logan's Promise, Charles Brown. Thank you for meeting with me today. Thank you for having me. Mr. Brown, what was your goal when you first started Logan's Promise? You know, I think our goal was to, you know, in part was to, to remember Logan and, and uh, how great of a kid he was, but also one of our, our mission was to engage the community, to make a difference in the community, to help people think about the consequences of drunk driving and, and how it affects a family, a community, and, and how we can make a difference. So when we looked at Logan's Promise, we thought about what is it that we really want to accomplish and that's to drive change within the community and allow for safer streets for us to travel down. Your work has impacted many lives. How does that make you feel? Uh, I think the feeling question is really a tough question for me. So you think about it from my perspective is I've paid the ultimate uh, sacrifice for this organization and that is losing, losing Logan, which is my son. Uh, as far as the organizational feel, it, it makes you feel good to see the change happening, to see the community, uh, you know, to be here with you guys, to, to see how we've impacted lives throughout the community, to take a step back and take it all in and understand that we are actually making a difference. Um, on the family side of it, you know, the, the unfortunate side is, is I don't get that easy feeling of sense of accomplishment because I don't get to share that with Logan. So it's a, it's a tough struggle for me. It's a daily struggle to, to think about having to go through this journey without him. But on the same hand, the, the sacrifice that our family's made in order to uh, make this mission accomplishable, uh, you know, it's, it's a price that we had to pay. And as a community, I think we're coming together. So it's kind of a bittersweet for me, you know. Has your vision of what you expected Logan's Promise to be met your expectations? You know, I, I set very high expectations for myself, for our family. Um, as far as the Logan's Promise expectation, when we went into it, we knew we wanted to make a difference and we knew we wanted change. I don't know if there was a clear-cut expectation mm -hmm. uh, other than the fact that we knew we wanted people to change. Um, where we are today, uh, versus where we thought we'd be, I would say exceeded our expectations. But as we exceed our expectations as an organization, we, uh, we continue to set our expectations higher. You seem to be reaching out to families and young adults, also children that are able to drive. So what's your plan to reach people that may be missing the campaign? One of the main goals of our organization was to reach the future generation before they actually started. So we we looked at what can we do to make a difference. So when you talk about in terms of what people are doing, they the students of today haven't actually started the, the, the trend yet. So if you can change that trend before they ever start, that's the objective. And so that's why we've reached out to the youth of today, is to try and stop that trend before it starts. Uh, we have partnered with the bars. Um, we have reached out to the businesses. You know, we haven't, our mission is about not drinking and driving, not drinking. So our foundation behind, behind where we go is we think go right to the root cause. So where does most of the drinking and driving start from? From the bars. So if we give them options there. So we've reached out to the bars. We've talked to the cab companies. The places that make a difference, that are able to drive the change, we've reached out to them. So. Uh, other things we've partnered with all-star driving so kids that are getting their driver's license we're looking at, at trying to educate them before they ever even start driving so you know we always look for in, innovative ideas to, to reach out to different communities but right now we're, we're focused on trying to stop one before they actually start and anything that we can do to get into anything else you guys have been raising funds to help give back to our community, and one of those funds that you've been doing is scholarships for each school. So could you tell us a little bit more about it? Uh, so we, 
we give a, a scholarship. It's a thousand dollar scholarship currently. Our first year, uh, we gave uh, one scholarship to a student at Wrights High School, um, and and our intention this year was to give out three scholarships to uh, three recipients. And a after the success of the organization, and we looked at what we had, we decided that it was important to us to give back to everybody. And we were able to manage enough funds, so we're giving eight scholarships this year. Uh, eight, it'll be $8,000, $1,000 each scholarship. The intent of those is to be, to recognize students who make good choices, to, to honor those who choose to make the right choices in life and, and, and set the example for other people to live by. So it's a, it's a great gesture for them and it's an honor for us to be able to do that. And, and you know, ultimately it's, it's about recognition. So just the same as, we're saying our mission is about knowledge, you know, if, and we also want to reward kids for doing the right thing, and that helps drive our goal of the next generation. So you give students something to work toward. When deciding who gets the scholarships, you mentioned earlier that it affects you personally, so could you share how? One of the criterias for the scholarship is for, for the student to actually write a letter of how has Logan's Promise impacted their lives or how has it changed or how has it affected them. And so one of the things I actually look forward to is, is when these applications come in and, and I kind of look through them but I, I go to the letter and I, I enjoy reading the letter because you get to hear all aspects. So not everybody knew Logan, not everybody knows me but everybody knows our mission that, that they're applying for, so it means something to them in some way. And for our organization to be able to see what that means to them, to see how you're impacting their lives, how it's made a change. You know, I heard a story about a student was talking about things that go on in his own household and, and how that's affected, affected them and how they've changed the process, you know, of what they do in their house. And, and you hear another story about how they say, I didn't know Logan at all, but through the, the benefits and seeing you guys come in and how everybody's pulled together, it's, it's given me the opportunity to rethink things and take this commitment. You know, Logan's promise is a promise to not drink and drive, not impaired drive. It's not a promise to abstain from drinking. Now, we do emphasize as a youth under the age of 21 that they abstain totally, but, you know, it's, it's a mission to change your way of thinking, not to steer you from doing something else. So our goal is to stop drinking and driving, impaired driving, and to see how that affects and we're changing students' lives. Mm -hmm. You know, and these, these are people that haven't been out into the community yet, so you know you've impacted the next generation. Thank you for meeting with me today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm Charles Brown with Logan's Promise, and I want to personally thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch this. And I encourage each of you guys to take the opportunity to make the right choice, to have a plan, to not drink and drive. Thank you.